Welcome to another Transformers Generations figure review. This time we're looking at the Voyager class Roadbuster figure. Oh boy. Now I kind of hinted in my last video of Skybite that, um, that uh, I'm not too thrilled with this figure to, uh, to say the least. Um, but, you know, Roadbuster is, a, I guess, because he's a wrecker, and I'm not sure why, but he's a fairly popular character. I don't know why, but people really got excited when this figure was announced, and I looked at it and was like, oh, well, I, I didn't look all that great to me. I was neither positive nor negative about it, and uh, I had the same opinion about this as I did Skybite when it was uh, close to release. I mean, if I got them, it would be cool. If not, it would be great. Then, like Skybite, I'm really glad I got him because he was a decent surprise. Open up Roadbuster. I'm pretty disappointed. But we are looking at probably the better of the modes, and this is this kind of off road military, military view. Um, I'm going to say right now, I have not put on the stickers. Uh, I might do that in a later video, like a new edition of uh, SJ Builds, but I'm still trying to figure, uh, decided this uh, figure warrants that kind of uh, attention, a multi-video figure, because I'm not sure, just because it is what it is. So, I mean, it rolls, kind of. These weapons come off super easily, too easily, uh, especially this one. This one does not stay in worth a damn. You can pull it in, oh, I'm gonna go shoot the eye and it falls off. This one sticks in fairly well, but it doesn't really mount too much. This one pegs into the side. Yeah, it looks like that. Kind of lazy, but even the lazier one is this guy over here. And it's just a stick. And we've got this one right here, which is, I'm not sure how effective of a weapon this is. And got his uh, rocket launcher. It's probably his better looking one. It got some nicely molded, molded in missiles in there. They're painted silver. So, this is probably the best looking and probably most effective gun he has. And when you take off all of his weapons, you really get a good idea of how plain this guy is. You know, he's got the, you know, general Roadbuster color palette, green, orange, brown, which I don't think looks very good to together. But it is what it is, and what it is is not a good figure. So... The, the transformation, if you want to call it that, is super simple, especially for a Voyager class figure. And the transformation is kind of makes me believe that this was originally going to be a deluxe class figure, but they upscaled it to a Voyager. I don't know why, because this is overly simple and it's pretty disappointing. So you take this section here and. Once you get on peg, the fold fold this whole section back, and then let me zoom out a little bit. Separate the legs. Fold out the feet. Rotate uh, these bits in the guns. And they rotate the feet out, and legs are done. You go up to the top here, you separate these stick arms, rotate these bits out, you can get them out like that, and then bring this whole piece down and rotate, actually rotate that piece. Uh, like that, or does it go like that? I believe it goes like yeah. This piece in and heavy ratchet shoulders, bring them down and 
yeah, there's Roadbuster in robot mode. And as you can tell, I'm not doing any cuts or multi parts in this video. No solid transitions because I don't think this figure really warrants it. Uh, it's uh, pretty disappointing. Especially when I was looking at the package. Because I look at the arms and I'm like, wow, those are really simple looking. They look, you know what, they, they kind of remind, they more remind me of Cyberverse figure arms. And especially from Prime. Just a solid, chunky piece with a molded in hand with minimum amount of detailing and no articulation, no wrist articulation, which is really lazy in this. If this for a Voyager class figure, that's inexcusable. And it just doesn't look all that good. And got, I mean, that's a solid retro, but it's weird because, you know, it's pretty smooth going out, but it's pretty uh, stiff going in, which is odd. Okay, so detailing, there's not a whole lot of it. And it's really a pain in the ass to stand up for me. As you can tell, I've been kind of struggling getting this guy to pose. I mean, halfway these, I mean, right now he looks like he's about to fall back. So, yeah, let's take a general look at the detail in here. I mean, adding stickers to it might probably make it look better. And that is the only right kind of positive feedback I can give about this figure because it includes stickers. But I feel like they include stickers just so you can have a little bit more play value in this because there's just not a whole lot. I'm not, I'm just not a fan. The arms are the biggest killing point for me. All right, as far as articulation goes, he's got a ball-jointed ball head, which I mean, it has that going for it. You know, single ratchet jo uh, shoulders here. Single, not even 90 degree, oh well, unless you do something like that. But even then there's no bicep swivel. If you do that, that which is still kind of awkward, you can get, you know, a decent amount of elbow range. No waist articulation, double swivel hips and about knee joint that goes that far unless you want to get into the ratcheted part of the knee and then it can go about that far which is a little bit better but you it really you, with a double jointed knee you should be able to get a lot more out of that no thigh swivel and for foot articulation it's this one's pretty good i have to give it that that it does have a good range as far as feet articulation goes. Of all things, it has good foot articulation, which is, uh, yeah, it's that. Um, as far as weapons go, you I mean, it's kind of like how Jetfire was. It does have a good range of a weapon placement, and we're going to go through all those options. You. You can uh, take the rocket launcher and put it in his shoulder right here. You can take these smaller weapons and kind of put them here. You so pl please. You can pretty much put any of these guys anywhere. And it definitely helps the look of the figure. But... It doesn't really add to the quality. Now, uh, if the if they would take a, if it would, they could have uh, taken away all the weapons except one and just added a little bit more quality to the overall figure, I would prefer that. Overall, this figure is a big disappointment. Disappointment. I cannot full heartedly recommend this figure. Uh, even I, I went to open mind. I was wanting to like it, and I just don't. Uh, I know some people do, might just because, you know, they might be record fans of the comics or just Roadbuster fans. And for those people, they're probably gonna like it regardless. But from a non-biased point of view, it's not 
a good figure. I give it a, a 5 out of 10. It's a very mediocre figure. This should have been a deluxe. I believe it was a deluxe at one point and they upscaled it to a Voyager just to get a little bit more money for this mold, I guess. Yeah, so I I really can't recommend this figure. Out of the Skybite and Roadbuster wave, definitely get Skybite. He's amazing. Roadbuster, in my opinion, not so much. But if you're like putting out stickers, you might want to get it out for that, but I doubt it'll be worth it. Um, but I might do a video later on about placing on the stickers. I'm not having decided yet, but wait and see. We'll wait and see. All right, guys, you can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. You can Instagram me too, SSJAutobot. Or if this is the first video you've seen of mine, click the subscribe button in this video, and I'll catch you all later. See you.